everyone, everyone who stands up for uh, a multicultural society or stands up against racism in Sweden will get threatened in, in some way by these groups. And I think that we have a problem, well that is that is a problem of course in itself. And the other problem is that people, not enough people are doing that. Because we haven't had a war for 200 years. We feel that the democracy is by nature given. So I think that we are becoming a little bit lazy, not defending the, the democracy that we actually have. So that's a problem. We are lazy when it comes to that. Uh, and as a journalist writing about right-wing extremists, for example, um, or jihadists, by the way, as well, which we don't do that much, but I think that we will do more. The problem that you're facing is that you're writing about small groups, they are extremists, and they don't want you to write the story. And especially they don't want you to write about them at all, usually. And you have to deal with that. And the question that you have to ask yourself is, am I ready to do this? Am I able to do this? And I think that we have decided at Expo Magazine that we have to do it. And we have to also to show our faces when we do it. We will not do it anonymously. But we can do that because we have a society and we also have a dem democratic state that will do things to protect us. When we contact the security police saying that we have extremists following us, we will get help and they will protect us because that is how it works in a democratic society. But I don't think that's the situation for you. Really. No, the danger is the police themselves. Yeah. They are the ones who are after you. They tell lies about you, they spread rumors about you, they arrest you, they put you in jail, they beat you in the street, they spray pepper spray in your eyes. So all kind of stuff that comes from the police. The, the, the police, I, I, I had a poll on my blog uh, a few years ago, uh, which asks this question, who are you more afraid of, the policeman or the thief? And the majority by a landslide were afraid of the police, not, not the thief. So this is this is the situation in Egypt. Uh, when it comes also to fascists and to uh, uh, um, uh, groups that are not really democratic or terrorist or anti-democracy, we have also something similar. Who are the Islamists? Uh, and they are one of the people whom, whom I received death threats from. There, there was actually a, an email that I still remember until now, where this guy said. Oh, oh God, please uh, honor my sword by the blood of Wael Abbas. So uh, 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 we, we are facing lots of, lots of challenges when it comes to uh, dealing with threats and violence and that kind of stuff. And what's interesting is that, well, the day that, will, that you will get a situation where you actually can feel that, well, we have a democratic state in Egypt, where you will still have these extremists. Trying to, trying. I believe. I believe that if we had real democracy in Egypt, they will be exposed. They will no longer have uh, support from the people. They will no longer have sympathy from the people. But the thing is that Mubarak is smart. He's using them like a scarecrow yeah. against the, the against the world and against the people, because he's all the time convincing the people. Okay, uh, what if I left now? What if we had democratic elections in Egypt? The Muslim Brotherhood are going to come to power, and so are the radical Islamists and the Wahhabis and whatever. Uh, and so, what, the, what does the world know? What does the states and Europe and Israel want? Do, do they want the Islamists in power? No, of course not. So I am the only hope for them. I'm, I'm the only solution. But in reality, this is not true. Because if we had awareness, if we had democracy, people will know who to choose. People will know uh, what's good for them. Uh, for example, uh, the, the Mubarak's regime have been arresting Islamists, thus creating uh, marches and saints of them, and creating a lot of sympathy uh, uh, from the people uh, to, towards them. Uh, but in reality, if Mubarak 
uh, allowed, for example, the Muslim Brotherhood to have a political party, they would be exposed. People will realize in the end that they, these guys don't have any political agenda. They don't have any uh, solutions for their problems because people will ask them, okay, so now you're a, you're a political party. What, what is your program? Uh, how are you going to solve the issue of unemployment, for example? How are you going to help our economy? How are you going to uh, uh, solve the housing, the marriage, the, 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 the health care, the education? They don't have solutions for that. All, all they are saying that we are going to run the country with the, the Islamic Sharia. Their, of course, their interpretation of Islamic Sharia. Uh, but other than that, they don't have anything. They will be exposed. So people will never choose them because people will will naturally go after anybody who is going to provide them with food, education, health care, housing, solve their problems. And definitely those guys don't have any solution for these kind of problems. But well, I, I do... Uh, I think, of course, that, for for example, the Muslim Brotherhood can do because you have this frustration in Egypt, which they can yeah, use they can, in, they in can different play ways. On, yeah. But I don't think, and this, maybe we can discuss this <laughs> how, for how long, for a very long time, but I don't think that democracy in itself doesn't mean that people do uh, rational choices. No, of course not. No, that, because that's, that's why I stressed on... Uh, awareness. Yeah. That people should be aware. You should be aware. Who are the Muslim Brotherhood? Yeah. Who are the liberals? Who are the socialists? Who are the whatever? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so they, they'll, in the end, they'll make the right choice. I don't want to end up like Algeria or like Gaza, for example, no. or like Germany in the 30s when they chose Hitler to be councillor and then to be dictator democratically. That choice and that's, was. That's that's actually that's one of the ideas of Expo. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the idea that we have to be aware of. Because it's what easy kind to of play on the religious system. sentiment yeah. or the nationalist sentiment yeah. or or yeah. play on the poverty of the people or the ignorance of the people. Yeah. But once people are aware where their their, their freedom lies or where the, their their uh, well-being lies, they will make the right choice. Because in 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 Egypt, for example, if let's say we we sh we had a democratic elections tomorrow, who's gonna win? We, we've been living under under dictatorships for 50 years since the, mil the military coup of Gamal Abdel Nasser. So, uh, the people who are most likely to win, due to the apathy of the people and due to the ignorance of the people, are the Muslim Brotherhood, because the Muslim Brotherhood will play on the religious sentiment, and they really know how to get people to vote for them. They bring their wives, their mothers, their sisters, their neighbors, the people living on the same street. They know how to... Uh, mobilize people and get them to vote for them also who else is gonna win the businessmen because they have money they can bribe the voters simply the, uh, and, and you can't you can't believe the trivial matters that were given to voters in Egypt to make them to vote like bags of bags of sugar bags of rice 20 Egyptian pounds uh, uh, promise that they will get a, get a job stuff like that so people uh, uh, give up their votes uh, in exchange of trivial matters that are going to end like what what the hell is like two bags of sugar they are going to end like in two weeks or something and then you you made the country uh, be run by a dictator which which is not the right choice who else is going to win the current regime because they still have the army they still have the police and they can intimidate people and make them go to vote by force and and this is this is this is we have evidence of that they got government employees uh, uh, and they put them on buses and trucks and take them to to vote in the polling station they even done that to the university students they make the students go and vote for the, the national democratic party or the, for the current president who is mubarak so uh, the, the, the the democratic elections tomorrow is taking us down downhill uh, unless there were awareness, there should be awareness before, because we, we don't want elections that can be manipulated or uh, blade with, you know.